Hello and welcome to what will be the first of many, hopefully, quick tutorials. Today we are going to learn how to make the turbine and make it work because it can be a bit fiddly. Right, let's go over here, shall we? Here's the, um, for the turbine first, you're going to need turbine housing and you're going to have to make the outer edges all turbine housing. No exceptions, you can't you do anything else but use turbine housing for that. Uh, if I just show the crafting recipe, turbine housing, uh, there we are, there's the crafting recipe, pretty simple, um, cyanite you get from the reactor as a byproduct, I'll tell you a bit more about that later on. Right, you will need a turbine controller, a turbine power port, and a fluid port, at least one of those, oh and a um, turbine we got rotor bearing. Now the rotor bearing has to go in the middle, either that end or that end. It, and um, it has to be connected to rotor, the rotor shaft. Uh, it is worth knowing that the turbine can be as long as you wish. It can go as far out however many as you want. Um, and uh, you can make it as wide as you want, as long as everything is correctly done, it doesn't matter how big. Uh, now, the outer, the middle bits, like this bit, everything here, can be filled with turbine glass or more, more turbine housing. That's up to you, it really doesn't matter. Now, as far as turbine fluid ports are, there is a limit to how much they can accept at any one time, so you will have to have a lot depending on how big your turbine is. Your turbine rotor shaft has to extend from your turbine rotor bearing right up until the end of the turbine. It has to reach the wall. There's no exceptions there either. The turbine rotor blade, you can have as many attached to a rotor shaft as you wish, as you wish, but it really doesn't matter. I've had I've just shown you that I've gone two here and I put four on here. Just the difference is that when there's four there, it's more efficient for space because it can handle more steam. Okay, on this bit, on the very end, on the opposite of the rotor bearing, depending on which side you put it on, you put your metal. That acts as a conductor. You can use, I'll leave a link in the description to um, a list of metals that you can do. You can do, use titanium, but you have to watch out. Some things for different mods don't use, like these two copper don't work, but this one does. Tinker's Construct does. So if you to surround, you have to surround the block. The you have to surround the cop the um, rotor shaft with the copper blocks in order to um, get it in order to receive electricity. There's no exceptions there either. You can make that as many. You can add as many as you want, and they don't. After the first one, they don't have to be a full rotation, and you can make it as long as you want. The difference is that the more copper blocks there are, the more resistance there is and the more steam you have to pump out and the more um, rotor blades that you have to have to accept that steam. Okay, so now we should move on to the whole main setup. Right, where if you want to make a turbine, you're going to have to make some additions to your re reactor straight away. You're going to have to add a reactor coolant port. This would change the layout completely. You've got a whole steam thing, and then you'll get um, you'll get steam there, the output, and the degrees there. So you will have to have a lot of aqueous accumulators. I recommend aqueous accumulators because if you use stuff like pumps, it will actually delete the water block and that can cause glitches when you load and unload the pump meaning that your whole power production can stop working you also these have a limit to how much they can accept as well so you will have to have a lot in order to pump it in on here here's the amount of steam that is stored in your in your reactor and how much water there is if i just turn it on boom you get the reactor like that now, this reactor will need a hell of a lot of water. Believe me, an absolute huge ton. That's nowhere near amount. If you want full efficiency, 
you've got to get it down to 100 degrees and after being on for like less than 20, 10 seconds it's already at 3200 degrees so that is nowhere near enough you need a lot more water pumping in this you will also need an opposite side of reactor coolant ports these will allow you to pump out of the reactor and luckily if you use fluid ducts you don't need to have a pump or anything it will just automatically pull out on its own and go straight into here I will talk about the how to make it as much efficient later here you have the whole entire setup it's right here you got the turbines there I've chose to put as many rotor bearings as possible I put the um, copper right there and I filled everything up um, with glass I will n please note that this is not an efficient build you will have to tr play around and experiment with different amounts of copper blocks and different amount of rotor bearings uh, rotor blades in order to get at max efficiency now in here is the amount of steam that's stored in there and the amount of water that's in here here's the here's how you control how much water is in um, leaves the turbine if you close the vent no water will leave the turbine and that will cause problem if you vent it to overflow only if there's more water build up than um, that can take out of the turbine it will vent it out or you can have all exhaust exhaust all so all water will go out as soon as you turn the reactor on I recommend vent overflow only uh, the reason for this is because you can have more fluid ports um, uh, as well to pump out of the turbine and take the water out of the turbine and put it back into the reactor this will reduce the amount of aqueous accumulators that you eventually need but to be honest it is easier just to make a load of aqueous accumulators uh, one note another note this has a limit as well so you have to have a lot of um, reactor coolant ports okay if we turn it on this is the engage coils and the disengage coil. While the coils are engaged, you are generating power. But if you disengage them, no power is generated, but you do increase the speed of your um, turbine. This will make it easier to get up to max speed when you need it to. Like this, uh, this shows that there is not enough steam pumping out of the reactor support to support the whole turbine as the turbo as the overflow is empty so as much steam is being used as possible so in order to make this max efficiency you would have to add more uh, aqueous accumulators just for this one turbine next we will talk about um, the reactor the rotor speed rotor speeds function best at 800 revs per rotations per minute or 1800 rotations per minute if you stick with the middle in between those uh, in between those points you would generate less energy than if you were to just lower the rotations per minute to 600 to 800 sorry uh, if I engage there yeah you can see the reactor is still increasing rotations per minute so there is still more steam able to do that but say we want to keep it at 800 rotations per minute and not affect the reactor in any way we can use this here this controls the rate of steam in that goes into the turbine if we as you can see just there you can press shift to minus 10 minus 100 or even minus a thousand we're going to start with minus 100 and if you keep going down and lower until lower until the rotations per minute stops climbing uh, at this case we have to empty the amount of steam that goes into it uh, totally so you in order to bring it back down once it's back down to 800 rotations per minute we won't actually move it we won't actually put it to 800 rotations per minute we just stop it uh, completely no matter what number it goes at you just add more uh, add more steam until you can see it stops see 300 then was enough to stop to increase the rotations per minute so if we lower it again now you see it's lowering so now let's add 10 each time and as you can see it is getting more stationary by the second so if as 
if you find the balance number where it stops re increasing or decreasing that will tell you the amount that you need for 800 and same and it's the same for 1800 only you'd leave it to climb and increase the rotations for a minute as far as adding more uh, tinkers constructs sorry as far as adding more uh, metals to act as a conductor the more you have the more resistance for the, the turbine there is and the more steam you'll have to pump in but that also means that even if you have an unlimited amount of steam going in you would have to have enough turbines enough um, uh, enough rotor blades to use all of that steam most efficiently most efficiently this is your efficiency rotor efficiency it gives you some information just there if it goes below that it means it means there's too much resistance um, for the steam or there's not enough rotor blades for the steam it's one of them if we go to here as you can see we, we are running that turbine at so many rotations per minute and we don't want to waste our fuel so and as you can see there is a lot of waste fuel going on as it is 4000 degrees already so the how to limit the reactor as you can see is done by these control rods you right click and then you can lower the amount that's being used so now I am turning off that control rod completely we will turn off all but uh, one of them that should give us a certain amount of efficiency doing this will completely s stop the fuel burn from these four um, these four fuel things <laughs> these four fuel things uh, that will increase the efficiency as you can see the degrees is going down already if we just deactivate the reactor and wait for it to go down eventually we you can work it to see if one control if one fuel rod is enough to power all of that if it's still too much you can lower it again by keep adding more to that that would tell you how much is being burnt per second uh, but I think that is about it guys one more note is the metal has to be on the opposite side of the rotor bearing oops <laughs> has to be on the opposite um, side of the rotor bearing otherwise it will not work that was my mistake but anyway that was my quick tutorial hopefully it helped like favorite subscribe there will be more coming if you have a request just state it one more look at this for you just in case you needed to look at it it's uh, just there as I said the links will be in the description to the wiki for more information and um, more on the metals of what you can use in the turbine but anyway thank you for watching if you have a request make it and I'll do my best to turn out the video thank you for watching and goodbye